Hey, what's up, guys? It's Genevieve, and welcome to today's video. So I know I've been gone for a while now, and honestly, there's no excuses. To be completely honest, I've moved, and I got a new job, and I'm working like 12 hours a day, five days a week, and it's ugly, and my schedule is awful. I don't have like consecutive days off most of the time. I'll have like a random Monday and a random Thursday off, so it's been pretty hard for me to kind of adjust, but I think that I'm kind of adjusted to everything now, so we should be back to our regular scheduled programming. So recently I noticed that the keto diet has been like a diet that everyone has been talking about for like the past year and if you've been watching my channel you know that I have lost 100 pounds doing a low carb keto style diet so I would do it keto sometimes and then some of the other times I would just do low carb because for me keto is not something that I can just do straight for months and months and months. It's not realistic for me. So this video is for all the questions that I get about like I'm doing keto and I'm not losing weight, how did you do it, all that, blah blah blah. I'm going to be telling you the top three reasons, I just spit, gross, the top three reasons why you're doing keto and you might not be losing weight. So the first reason that you're doing keto and you might not be losing weight is because you're eating too many calories and no matter how you try to slice it or how you try to look at it if you're eating too many calories and you're not burning them off um, you're going to gain weight so you could be doing keto perfectly not cheating keeping your carbs below 20 grams but if you're eating 2500 calories and you're not burning that off, you're going to gain weight, you know? So you really have to pay attention to what you're eating and how you're doing keto because I know some people do like the dirty keto where they have like burgers from like fast food places but they just like replace the bread with lettuce and stuff. You don't really realize how many calories is in all that food. Even though you're not eating the bread, there's still a ton of calories in that stuff with the sauces and all that kind of like hidden crap. Um, so you have to be really careful. And if you're going to do keto, I would suggest with like most of the time sticking to meals that you cook so you know exactly what's in it. Um, and how many calories goes into it. So you really have to be careful with calories because like I said if you're eating 3,500 calories and you're not burning that off you're not going to lose weight um so pay attention to what you're eating even though you know like there's no carbs in it there could be a lot of hidden calories in what you're eating so you definitely want to pay attention to that I actually had a phase of my keto diet where I went through that I was going to in and out for lunch and I was getting a double double protein style and then I would go and like go to like Panda Express and I would have the Kung Pao chicken which is like low in carbs um, and then like for dinner I'd have a Caesar salad but you have to watch out for the Caesar dressing because a lot of Caesar dressings are high in calories um, and all that stuff would just add up and I started counting how many calories I was eating and one day I had eaten like 3,000 calories and I hadn't worked out um, so you have to make sure you're in a caloric deficit or you're not going to lose weight no matter how perfectly you're doing the keto diet. The second reason you may not be losing weight like you think you should on the keto diet is because your body's not in ketosis. Um, and a lot of people don't realize like for your body to burn fat instead of glucose, your body can't have any like glucose to burn, you know what I mean? So if you are doing keto and you're thinking that you're doing it right, you might want to write down everything that you're eating and really pay attention to what's in it because um, I know there are so many products out there now that are like, oh, keto friendly, keto approved, like keto bread, keto tortillas, but sometimes that stuff can throw your body out of ketosis even though the net carbs in it is lower than, you know, what you should be having. Um, it can still throw your body out of ketosis. I know with, um, there was a little like taco shell, they're like hard shells, but they were advertised as uh, low carb. And I think it was like one net carb per taco shell, but for some reason that would throw my body out of ketosis. Um, so definitely pay attention to what you're eating and try to stay away from all those keto friendly breads and tortillas. Um, because that can really mess with what you have going on, especially if you have a good rhythm going, you're doing really good. I would just stay away from that completely. Um, you can have it like once or twice a week, but don't base all of your meals around that stuff because it tends to add up. And at a certain point, I was reading an article on this, at a certain point, 
sugar alcohol. I'll put the article down below in the comments if I can, comments, in the description box if I can find it, but it was just a really good article on why at some point sugar alcohol turns into glucose and it'll, it's a lot. <laughs> One of the last reasons for myself that I found why I wasn't, why I wasn't losing weight while on the keto diet was because I wasn't getting enough exercise and I know when I was reading up on the keto diet a lot of people said hey you know you could lose weight and you don't even have to exercise you know it's just because your body starts burning fat when you're in ketosis and blah blah blah. So there's a brief time where I wasn't exercising as much as I should have and I realized my weight loss really did like take a downward spiral I don't know what I'm trying to say it just like went down you know I wasn't losing as much weight as I could have so if you find that you're doing the keto diet and you're not eating too many calories and you know you're eating nutritional food and you're not just eating fast food and doing like a dirty keto version, um, you definitely want to take a look at your, you know, activity, um, your physical activity, what you're doing. If you're not working out, maybe you can just take a walk, you know, around the block or, you know, just do something to get um, some type of physical activity. And for me, I just totally worked out like I went on and to the gym and I did full workouts um, but I know there are some people who just lack energy while they're on keto diet especially like when they're first trying it out like the first like month um, it's hard to kind of adjust to your the way that your body's feeling so after you get adjusted then you can start working out but you don't kind of want to burn yourself out um, but like I said, something as simple as taking a walk around the block, like doing a mile walk, isn't going to make you feel any worse than you're already feeling. Because I know when I first start the keto diet, if I haven't done it in a while, I feel miserable. Like I literally just feel bad because it's not the food that I want. Like I love carbs. Like I just do. Which is why for me the keto diet isn't something that I can do for the rest of my life. I know people who are super committed to the keto diet and very serious and they're just like, Oh, you know, like, I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. It's a lifestyle. But, like, for me, I'm, like, kind of keto. I'm, like, eh, one foot in, one foot out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, definitely check and pay attention to your physical activity because that can be a reason why you're not losing weight. Like I said, even if it's something as simple as going on a walk, get some type of activity in there. Um, but for me, those are, like, the top three three reasons why I wasn't losing weight when I was doing the keto diet. So, you know, they may be some of the reasons why you're not losing weight on the keto diet. So, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be filming videos again. Um, one video a week for now to start because it, I set the bar too high and then I just completely fail and bomb. So, one video a week is what we're going for. It's going to be weight loss, fitness, you know, other personal fun videos like dating videos and stuff. So, just stay tuned. I promise you guys, I am back. But for good. Um, so, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that. You can ask me any type of questions that you want to know about my weight loss. But I will post the video that I have explaining everything involving how I lost 100 pounds down below in the description box for you. Uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see because I have no idea. My hand was weird. Um, so, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye.